Unlike the Amazon, there is a place in the world where the quest for water is never ending. In this place, snow is an almost forgotten treasure. These are the 9,000 foot slopes of Israel's Mount Hermon, rising precipitously out of a barren wilderness. Enhanced satellite images give us a new way of looking at the Middle East, a new perspective on how the Earth works as a unified system. Mount Hermon is the source of the River Jordan. Soon joined by the streams of Lebanon and Syria, the river gathers volume. When the Jordan finally enters the legendary Sea of Galilee, it is almost 700 feet below sea level. The lake is also a reservoir, supplying one-third of Israel's water needs. Looming above the Galilee are the Golan Heights. From space, the commanding military position of the Golan Heights is immediately clear. Syria's threat to divert the waters of the Jordan was one of the reasons for the 1967 Arab-Israeli War. With victory, Israel claimed the heights and won complete control of the Jordan River and the Sea of Galilee. Today, very little of the lake's precious water is allowed to escape. What little that is released into the lower Jordan River winds slowly through isolated farms, all competing for the sustaining waters of the same thin blue line. The Jordan River ends its 120-mile journey at the Dead Sea. More than 1,300 feet below sea level, this is the lowest point on the Earth, seven times saltier than the ocean. Very little lives within its waters. Compared to most of the world's rivers, the Jordan is insignificant. More water flows down the Amazon in an hour than flows down the Jordan in a year. But this river, marking the border between Israel and the Kingdom of Jordan, flows in a part of the world where the health of a river is influenced by politics as well as by the environment.